What's up guys, Andy here, Forest of Dean Runner, bringing you another instalment of the Chasing 125 series. Um, today I wanted to talk quickly about a workout I'm going to be doing. So last week's workout was the tempo run. Uh, this week it's going to be my 2x2 two two mile um, tempo run and I incorporate those within an 8 mile uh, longer run. So basically, as I said to you in the beginning, I want to take you through some of the key workouts that I have uh, leading up to a half marathon. Last week, as I said, was a tempo run. This workout revolutionised my training um, when I incorporated it in. So I looked at some marathon uh, training plans. I've never run a marathon, but I looked at some and some half marathon ones. And there's a workout in there called, um, basically, so they're like 5K repeats or 5 mile repeats when you get more advanced. And what you do is you basically run five miles or 5k at five to 10k pace so really quick have a rest and go again and you repeat them and you only do it two or three times um so what i did is i thought okay i'm going to take that workout i'll just scale it down a bit i've got an eight mile run that i do um, and i'm going to run it and i'm going to do two lots of two mile surges in there okay so with that what i'm going to do is i'm going to go out now i'm going to go and run the first two miles at steady pace uh, the second two miles are going to be high tempo, probably 5 to 10k pace. Uh, then I'm going to have a mile rest in between, uh, where I just go back to steady pace, and then, the, then I'm going to pick myself back up and run another two miles. Now, I can, as soon as I start doing this workout, it is a killer. It's so hard, but I can see exactly why people do it. The reason I feel it benefits me is because it teaches me to kick off again when I've got really tired legs. It's when you hit the second set, uh, um, the second two mile set, where you're just thinking, I can't do this, I can't do this. But when you get into it, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm doing it. And your legs are feeling tired, but your brain is telling you to carry on. And if you fight against it and you push through, it gets easier and easier every time you do it. Well, it never gets easy, but you get used to the, the whole picking yourself back up after you're tired. Um, so I'm off out to do that now. I really recommend this workout. I'm going to go and do it now. I can't take you with me, unfortunately, because because it's a speedy workout. The head strap keeps coming off. It's terrible. Um, so when I get back, I'll sit down and we'll analyse the stats. I'll see you in a minute. Right, guys, that's the workout done. So that's 8.1 something miles done now. Um, I've got the splits here, and I'll post a link to my Strava picture um, at the end, like I did on the tempo run. So just to go through it with you blow by blow quickly, started out um, the first couple of miles, 7.10 and a 6.52 pace. Um, so that was, I was feeling quite comfortable at that point, but because last night and just the way that work has been this week, I did a, um, a really fast um, three mile run last night, average pace of 6.08. Um, so I was, I was really putting it in last night and my legs were just feeling it a little bit but I felt good at that point still legs were a bit heavy but not too bad um, kicked off the first um, tempo mile at 6.26 so that was kind of what I wanted then hit the hills and did a 6.52 um, which I was kind of a bit disappointed at but at the same time realised how hilly it was and if you watch my tempo run from last week um, I kind of follow um, a bit of that track and you'll see some of my tempo splits on that run. That's what I would call my hilly tempo run. I'm still pushing at the same heart rate but over the hills um, and I was kind of hitting that pace. So I kind of went, okay, ran the rest uh, mile in the middle at 7.35. By that point my legs were killing me um, but I pushed on and did the next two miles in 6.33 and 6.43. So the first mile was good, second mile was a bit too slow. Um, and then I came home in the last mile, uh, 6.48. I kind of, because I was a little bit disappointed with the last uh, last mile on the second set, I kind of pushed on for a little bit more afterwards just to get my body used to pushing for about two and a half miles, and then I slowed down. So that's why that last mile was a little bit faster than normal. Um, but overall, first time I had the GPS watch with this workout, I'm happy with it. The splits are not quite what I wanted. I wanted to see a bit more of a clear definition between the tempo runs, uh, the tempo miles and the non-tempo miles. But I guess that's just because I'm doing them over hills. 530 foot of elevation run. So, you know, again, that's quite that's quite good and quite a lot of elevation to work on. So, yeah, that's done overall now. I'm going to go and have some lunch. Um, so thank you for watching this workout. Next week I will do another workout. We'll go through another kind of key element of my training um, and I hope your training is going well and I'll catch you next time.